Hey, this is Hans, and it's time for yet another episode of Instant Noodle Recipe Time. This is the show where I show you what to do with your instant noodles. And today I've got one from Indomie. This is the Mian Stan Rasa Kakalang. This came by way of Ferengi. Thank you so much. So this used to be in the U.S. a long time ago, and I'll tell you a little about that once I uh, do this. So, yeah, you'll enjoy it uh, goes for three minutes and you get to watch. Isn't that fun? So, yeah, this used to be just known as Skipjack Tuna. There used to be a place that I went to called Evergreen Oriental. It was either Evergreen Oriental Grocery or Evergreen Oriental Market. And they had, like, towards the front, by the front door, all these boxes of Indomie. They had, they had rendang, they had this one, they had satay, hot and spicy, regular barbecued chicken. Um, they also had the, like the special fried curly noodle and the grilled chicken one. They had it all, and that was in the heyday of Indomie in the States before uh, they stopped exporting a lot of varieties here, which is a real bummer. I mean, you know, luckily I've got a friend who sent me some, but the ability to just pick that up willy-nilly at the store was great, and then they just like clamped down, I guess, on import restrictions, or Indomie just decided, you know what? We only need to have a few SKUs going to the U.S., that'll be fine, but either way, I really miss those days when stuff like that was a, you know, a normal happenstance to find that much variety, and there used to be more variety of everything, but, oh, I don't know, they got all freaky about it, so... A lot of it has to do with protecting our agricultural industry, and a lot of that just seems like a big load of crap. I mean, but you know, what can I say? It's the U.S. Department of Agriculture. I don't, I don't, I don't really have any pull with them. <laughs> Can't really tell them what to do, so I'm just glad we get what we get. I can say that much. And there's new stuff all the time for me to try that's locally available. The Chinese stuff tends to be pretty reasonably priced. Um, Thai stuff is usually pretty reasonably priced. The stuff that's expensive though is the stuff I really like to get, which is the Taiwanese stuff. You've got like four packs of noodles that are going for like $10.99 at the Asian grocery. And in fact, over at uh, our local Safeway store, God, and I'm talking everything. You've got instant noodles from uh, Taiwan there that are going for $15.99 for a four pack. It's ridiculous. And it's stuff I want to review. I'm hoping the company will send me some, but then they've got like Shin. You can go to like Walmart and get Shin for next to nothing, but at Safeway, they want like $10.99 for a multi-pack of Shin Ramyun, and that's like hatefully expensive. I don't even know how to mentally process that. So this has a, a chili powder sachet and it also has a seasoning base and fish floss. Fish floss is basically dried fish that's not powdered, but kind of like scratched, I guess, shredded. But it's shredded to such a degree, it's just like you drop it in stuff and it just like melts. I remember on a flight to Taiwan, you could get a uh, pork porridge and I would usually get that and uh, it would come with fish floss and it's yeah it's, it's not bad it's pretty good 
generally when I see it, you know what's really good is pork floss. I'm gonna tell you right now, that's that's the ticket. All right, very well. And I'm really looking forward to the next one I'm reviewing because that one could be a, a top tenner. But let's let's stay on focus, stay on task. So this is Indomie Rasa Mi uh, Mianstan Rasa Kakalang. This looks like the standard Indomie noodle, which you all know and love, I'm guessing. There's this version, and then there's a Migarang version, I should note. Migarang obviously does not have soup. Hmm. Broth. Mm. Indeed, it does have kind of a. It's, it's like a fish and uh, spicy and savory. It's good. Recommendo, yo. But it used to be easy to find, and now it's like, yeah, you got to have a friend in uh, Australia or Indonesia that can send it to you. Better yet, if you can, go visit. Indeed. Head on over to Indonesia. But don't check my bags if you please, Mr. Customs Man. You know. Because they're going to be like, uh, we don't know what this is. This says artificial chicken, which could mean it has chicken in it. That's my, I, I got that once. I was told that. I'm like, dude. <laughs> don't you say anything at us. I know, they're just doing their job. They can't, you know, make exceptions unless they want to. They did that once. But, like, no, I don't understand. That's a whole nother gripe I have, but I'm going to just leave that be. I'm having a good day. A little bit of spring onion. Crushed red pepper would be apropos in this matter. And a little bit of sesame seed. And oh boy, there you are. You've got some wonderment for your face hole. A spicy, kind of seafoody Indonesian deal. There you go. On to the next one. This is one that came out of a Zen Pop box. You can go to zenpop.jp. Use the coupon code for a discount. This is uh, Sapporo Ichiban with uh, Tenkai Pin. And this is what? Kyoto Koteri Chicken Broth Tori Python. And this, there's another one. There is another. And it's on the top 10 Japan list for 2024? 2023? 2024? I don't know. One of them. So it's on there, and I'm hoping this one is good as well. So we will see. And this has been Hans the Ramen Reader, wishing you enjoyment of your noodles each and every day. Have a good one. Bye-bye.